love you, but dahil na-miss ko kayo, marami po akong surprises for you. We have the Shell Advance sa SM Dasma yan. At saka, we have the seventh leg of the Inner Bike Club Racing Circuit. At huwag natin kakalimutan na ko ito. Napaka-special ito dahil ito ang fourth year anniversary ng Vios Car Club of the Philippines. Diyan lang yan sa Hobbies of Asia. Ayan. Kaya guys, alam niyo nang gagawin niyo, di ba? Start your engines! Ito na ang Stop My TV! Woo! Here's the latest motoring news. Ford Philippines recently launched a 2008 Henry Ford Awards at the Felix Restaurant in Makati City. Now in its eighth year, the Henry Ford Awards has been recognizing best works and creative talents in the local motoring industry. We have opened the um, Henry Ford Awards. It's great at eight. It's the eighth year we're running this program. And this program is really to honor automotive journalism in the country. And um, being the eighth year and the great year, it is, um, we have added a special category, which is the students category. So with this category, we hope that we will be able to develop the new breed, the new generation automotive journalists who will be now part of the Henry Ford Awards. Okay, so um, to all um, our automotive journalists um, and our aspiring automotive journalists, if you are a college student or you are um, an enthusiast of um, the automotive industry, um, you may log on to www4.com.ph and click on the Henry Ford Awards section to download the entry form and the mechanic sheet. So good luck and it's great to be eight. Know the latest in the world of motoring only here on Stoplight TV. Sabay namin yung One Pablo Dream. Guys, yan. Abang kayo si Jared, ha? Tsaka yung grupo nila. Anyway, ito na ang susunod nating segment for you guys. It's the seventh leg of the Interbike Club Racing Circuit. Sana narinig niyo ako dahil oh, lakas dito. Once again, different motorcycle racers gathered together for the seventh leg of the 2008 Interbike Club Circuit Racing Series. Recently held at the short but tricky Boomland racetrack in Pasay City. Every rider's goal in mind was to win and to cross the checkered flag fast but safe and sound. The heat of the sun didn't allow the riders to quit, but instead made them feel the close competition between other competitors. Hello mga ka-Stoplight, nandito tayo ngayon sa 7th leg ng 2008 Petron Sprint 40 Interbike Club Circuit Racing. Uh, kasama ko ngayon yung dalawa sa winners natin sa beginners category. Owen, ano ba masasabi mo sa race natin ngayon? Bali, yung race ngayon napakaganda talaga. And beside doon, yung paghandang ginawa ko is super paghanda talaga dahil hindi naman kasi biro din yung pagkakakarera. So yung sa motor... Naglinis tayo ng karburador, tapos sa sarili, practice tayo dalawang beses ang linggo. 
para ma-maintain natin yung tinatawag nating pagiging magaling. O bago pa lang magiging magaling. Ah, uh, Randall, ano mo sasabihin mo sa race mo ngayon? Ano, maganda. First time ko lang nanalo ngayon eh. Tsaka, ayun. Uh, ano mo masasabi mo dito sa race ng Interbike Club dito sa Sonic Boom? Ano, maganda. Tsaka, mabait niyong organizer. <laughs> Sino ba organizer dito? <laughs> Ikaw. Ah, ako ba? Sige na nga, ako na. Wala ka bang gustong pasalamatan? Sponsors? Ano, nanay at tatay ko. <laughs> Bukod doon, wala na? Tsaka, Mototan. There you have it, guys. Owen Masangkay and Randall Josh Ilagan. Before anything else, I would like to thank our sponsors for this race. Uh, Petron Sprint 40, YRS Modifications, Olympus Camera, Fujiya Japanese Restaurant, and our media partners, uh, Inside Race and Stoplight TV. Catch more 2008 Inner Bike Club Circuit Racing Series exclusively here on the country's most good motoring and motor sports show. You're watching the globally recognized Stoplight TV. ไอ้ควะอ๋อควะกะลองห้องกะเบรกบ่เบรกลอดสิบล้อยอยู่ตั้งหน้าเบรกลอดกับความกะเบรกแกแกป่อหิงดังกะอ่ะเอาอีกห
With the discovery of the Malampaya gas field project, the government initiated the Natural Vehicle Program for Public Transport in 2002. The CNG or Compressed Natural Gas Project still represents the largest and most significant industrial investment in the history of the Philippines. There is also the use of LPG, which is often referred to as auto gas. In some countries, it has been used since the 1940s as an alternative fuel for engines. It is non-toxic, non-corrosive, and lead-free fuel with a high octane rating of 108. Ang role ng alternative fuels uh, for our environment is very crucial because uh, right now, uh, alternative fuels are not only alternative in terms of uh, it being uh, having cheaper price, but uh, they are called alternatives because they are alternative to the dirty fuels that we traditionally use like gasoline and diesel. Right now, we have several national laws including the Clean Air Act and the Biofuels Act. The, these laws mandate uh, the use of, uh, um, uh, these laws uh, aim to protect our environment. And uh, dito sa mga batas na to, sinasaad dito kung ano yung mga pwede natin gawin. Ngayon, uh, inihikayat namin lahat ng mga mamamayan uh, to use biofuels like bioethanol and biodiesel. And uh, also, for those who can uh, who can afford to do so, uh, you can also use LPG as a transition fuel. No? Although the downsides include a lower energy density than either petrol or diesel, so the equivalent fuel consumption is higher. But since it has lesser tax, it is still more cost-effective. Engines which are designed for unleaded fuel, equipped with hardened valve seats, are suitable for use with LPG without added upper cylinder lubrication. My experience uh, when using uh, alternative fuel, um, nakatipid ako, ako sa sulina. Kasi one, for some reason, gumanda yung takbo ng kotse. Bottom line, part, ang pinaka-importante dyan, environment. Eh. It's not the fuel itself. It's the environment. Okay? Like yung mga electric electric uh, vehicles na pinuproduce nila na pinapromote nila yung like ng Toyota. Well, I think that's nice. Di ba? Kasi ang maganda ron, we don't use uh, fuel for that. And hopefully, harus lahat ng kotse natin, huling gano'n na rin. With the current trend in the global economic market, our fossil fuels will not meet the demands of the rising world population. This will be more felt here in the Philippines as we continue to import oil from other countries while Mother Nature has no time to keep up. One of the realistic possibilities of alternative fuels applicable now lie in hybrid vehicles as they are not only cost-effective, but more importantly, are much more energy efficient than current models. Toyota is very supportive on in government uh, initiative on alternative fuels. Our current models or showroom models are already compatible on biofuels. For ethanol, uh, up to 10% blend. For diesel, bio or biodiesel, from 1% to 5%. However, that will depend on the standard spe specification on higher blends. Uh, also, our current models is uh, LPG compatible already, and uh, for the hybrid, we have the existing uh, Prius, which is already popular in the United States. However, for the CNG, it's still under development. If you just think of the normal traffic conditions there, you have traffic jams, you have the stop and go, we have hard acceleration, hard braking, so we can regenerate a lot of energy. So perfect setting basically for the Prius and most often these cars are used to enter the big cities so we have city driving, we can cut off the engine so no idle, so perfect condition for low consumption, low CO2 emission. If we look into the diesel, yes, it's quite promising with regards to low CO2 emission but it's quite expensive nowadays and then taking into account that we have to reduce the um, nitrogen oxides further more so this will create high cost and then to combine it with hybrid technology, from my point of view, the question mark is just at what cost we can achieve, what result. If we just look into CO2 emission, then this combination, diesel with hybrid, will give very, very good results on low CO2 emission. And for Toyota, is uh, nagpo-focus tayo sa, sa hybrid. Ano ba tong hybrid? Hybrid, ito yung uh, mechanical and electrical combination, powertrain. So na 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 feel namin na uh, ito'y very ano uh, compatible compatible with our 
uh, current situation, lalo na sa Pilipinas, kasi medyo stop and go tayo eh. So, yung technology ng hybrid, kapag uh, uh, traffic ka, ang umaandar lang dyan is yung motor. So, wala kang gasolinang kinukonsume. So, wala ka rin pollution na kinukonsume. So, and during acceleration, that's time na nagbibigay ng konting supply ng gasoline to give more power for the hybrid. Alternative fuels dictate the future of transportation in the Philippines. And if we don't convince ourselves to change now, we might end up with nothing in the very near future. Catch more in-depth insights in and out of the motoring industry only here on Spotlight on Stoplight. A message of concern from the World Health Organization and Stoplight TV. And here's the latest motoring news. Dodge recently introduced a new vehicle in town that is definitely a head-turner for every car fanatic. This new entry in the SUV segment offers space, functionality, and flexibility that distinctly shows a bold new attitude in its class. Okay, if you're looking for safety, it's got five-star crash rating. It's got all the features you can look at. From, from side airbags to uh, passive restraint systems. It's got electronic uh, stability programs. It's got ABS brakes. So from a safety point of view, the vehicle's got everything you'd ask for. From a body styling point of view, I mean, take a, take a look at it. Uh, um, it's, got, it's, got a, it's got a good sporty ride. It's got a, a sports suspension system in it. Couple that with some 20 inch wheels, and that's standard fitment on this vehicle. So when you're talking about what makes it special, the whole package is value for money. Know the latest in the local motoring industry only here on Stoplight TV. Stoplight TV's decals is powered by Chris. Call 0919 Di ba sabi ko sa inyo, marami akong surprise. Oh, ito pa, si Bing ng Juan Pablo Dream. Na, na-surprise pa. Yes, na-surprise sila. Ayan, lead vocalist lang naman ang kasama ko. Yeah. So Bing, yeah. tell us more about your band. Uh, we play soul music. Uh, I think we're the only band who plays soul music. I mean, I mean, when I talk about soul, it's soul from the 60s. The original soul, the original R&B. So every kailan kayo nandito? Um, we play here every Tuesday. Tuesday evenings here at 1002 Bar. Kwentan mo naman kami sa mga websites nyo, mga yeah. gigs nyo. Yeah, sure. We have a, we have a multiply account. Uh, it's a Papa Mod. It's papamod.multiply.com and we also have a MySpace and Friendster accounts. Uh, uh, I think it's one underscore Pablo underscore dream at yahoo.com and also our Yahoo groups it's same it's the same you one underscore Pablo underscore dream at yahoo groups.com we have an album we still have an album out in the market it's under ten turn recordings the album title is soul up thank you so much May. thank you so much May. so guys eto na ang Bias Club of the Philippines fourth anniversary giant sa Hobbies of Asia Camaraderie was well evident at the fourth year anniversary of the influential and respected Vias Club the Philippines, recently held at the Hobbies of Asia along Makapagal Boulevard. Around 50 cars were showcased at the event presenting their well-dressed and pimped out Toyota Vias, from the sparkling paints to destructive base and jam-packed engines. Hi, I'm John Castello, uh, President of Vias Club Philippines for 2008. And uh, we're celebrating our fourth anniversary at uh, Habis, uh, Habis of Asia, Makapagal. Habis uh, Club Philippines has uh, 320 official members and 3,500 online members, meaning it's a forum computer. Meron, we have a website, uh, it's 
www.bsclubfeel.com Yes, uh, we have members in Bacolod, Iloilo, Chapters, in Cebu and Davao. To, to all BS owners out there, uh, we're inviting you to join our club. We're a club not only for uh, cars, but we also conduct um, uh, social civic activities like we have scholars in uh, children in Payatas that we finance uh, the studies and uh, we uh, we visit the, the, the hospitals and we provide gifts during Christmas. We would like to thank our sponsors Toyota Balintawak, Toyota Otis, Habis of Asia, um, Rota Wheels, Francia Wines, uh, Coca-Cola, uh, Land Bank of the Philippines, CNJ Auto Sounds and of course Stoplight TV is always there to provide support to the club. Thank you. With 320 official members and more than 3,000 online members, some of the finest BS cars were displayed at the event. This non-stop non-profit car club was formed in the year 2004 and is powered exclusively by Stoplight TV. Stoplight TV is powered by the new Honda Bravo, the people's bike, a product of Filipino ingenuity. Mag bravo ka na! Sabi ko sa inyo, marami akong surprises. Eto na yon isa sa mga surprises ko. Nakikita niyo itong katabi ko. Nako, kinikilig po ako. Kinikilig sobra dahil she is one of music industry's legends. Wah! Wah! Kaya nga yan. Hindi <laughs> naman, hindi naman. Magaling ka lang talaga. Kasama ko po si Miss Scarlett. Siya po ang may-ari ng 1002 Bar. Nako, Miss Scarlett, tell us more about your bar. Hi, um, well, 1002 was opened uh, last January and... Uh, it's a music bar um, and uh, we have live entertainment uh, almost every night and um, we also have, we also offer food so we're also a restaurant and uh, what we do is we try to imita imitate parang yung mga food that you could get from hotels pero at a very 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 cheap, dirt cheap price. Ayan, parati na akong pupunta rito, narinig ko yung word na cheap na pagkain, okay yun? Yes. Anyway, Miss Scarlett, where are you guys located? Where we're, uh, the 1002 is located along Scout e Bartolasa Street. We're almost corner Timog, but uh, we're facing a shell station. It's just two blocks away from uh, from the two networks, actually. ABS and the other one, GMA. So, you can't miss it. Thank you so much, Miss Scarlett. Nako, excited na ako dahil galing na mga songs sila dito. Anyway, ito na po ang isang segment natin, ang Shell Advance, dyan yan sa SM Dasma. Enjoy! It was a great day for Cavitenio, especially riders who joined the recently concluded 8th leg of the 2008 Shell Advance Solo Motorcycle and Scooter Challenge held at the SMCDS Marinas parking lot. Despite the very hot weather, riders from all over Cavite couldn't get enough to squeeze the throttle and show off their riding skills. Winners Christopher Luciano got the first place clocking in at 135.38 seconds and winning 5,000 pesos. Danilo Tocutor got second place with a time of 137.47 seconds and got a cash price of 3,000 pesos. While third place went to George Ko who received 2,000 pesos. In the Best Bike Show Off, the Stock Category Award was bagged by Charlie Panuntar Jr. Second place went to Arnulfo Abubo 
and third place was Rafael de Leon. The 2008 Shell Advance Solo Motorcycle and Scooter Challenge is presented by Shell Advance Scooter 4 Motorcycle Oil with the support of Lubricant Philippines, Fuji Films, Inside Racing Magazine, Scooterista Magazine, and shown exclusively here on Stoplight TV. you can rely on. A motorcycle life you can live to the full. Welcome to the Honda Life. Nakangiting naglalakbay, mga pangarap ay sakay, ganito sa buhay Honda. Pangtrabaho o pasyala, imig man o hanap buhay, masaya ang buhay Honda. Iwala kang mararating, sama-samang abutin, iwala kang mararating. Sama-samang kaputin, sakay na sa buhay Honda. Yan guys, time for me to go again. Ganun talaga ang buhay, pero yan nyo dahil meron pa tayong next week. Hope to see you again next week. And if you want to get in touch with us, all you gotta do is email us at info at stoplight.tv. Website namin is stoplight.tv. And for our friendsters, Friendsters ka dyan! Hello! Yan! Sumali kayo sa Friendster namin. It's stoplight underscore tv3 at yahoo.com At para sa mga texts nyo for all networks, all you gotta do is send it to 2948. Tama, di ba? Oh, galing ko! Ayan! So guys, see you at the next stoplight! Mwah!